Hi guys! This is the Simon Experts channel. Today we will answer the question from our subscriber Ashu from India. Here is the task. 10 electrons have been removed from each atom to form ions. Find the electrostatic force between two such ions when they are separated by a distance of 4 angstrom in a medium with dielectric constant 4. So, to find the electrostatic force, we can use the column law. It goes like this. F E equals 1 over 4 pi times epsilon times Q1 Q2 over R squared, where Q1 equals Q2 uh, equals 1 Point 0.6 times 10 raised to the negative 19th power times 10 columns and gives us 16 times 10 raised to the negative 19th columns and this is the charges of two ions r is the distance between them and epsilon is the permittivity of the medium in which the charges of ions are located uh, this measurement permittivity of medium is related with dielectric constant uh, in this formula. Epsilon equals K times epsilon zero, where K is the dielectric constant and epsilon zero is the permittivity of vacuum. So now let's put this expression into the column law. We get one over 4 pi times k times epsilon 0 times q1 q2 over r squared and over here 1 over 4 pi times epsilon 0 gives us small k and the rest is the same over capital k times q1 q2 over r squared and the small k is called the column constant and it is equal to 9 times 10 raised to the 9th power of newtons times meter squared over column squared now we just need to put all known variables into this formula over here. So now as we have the formula, we'll let's put all the variables inside of it. So first we have column constant. It is 9 times 10 raised to the 9th power newtons times meter squared over column squared. Then we have Q1 and Q2. They are equal, so let's write it like this. 16 times 10 raised to the negative 19th power squared, because we have Q1 and Q2. And the measurement here is column. And in the denominator we have K, the dielectric constant, which is 4 times the distance between two ions. It is 4, and remember I said 4 angstrom. To turn them into meters, we need to add 10 raised to the negative 10th power meters squared. So after all the calculations, we will get 3.6 times 10 raised to the negative 8th Newton. And this is the answer. Thanks for watching us, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See ya.